The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. The fastest curve between two points is some portion of this curve known as a cycloid. I showed before that if the two points of interest are connected by a slope, well a straight line that has a slope of minus 2 over pi, then the portion of the cycloid that is the fastest track is this half cycloid going from the top to the bottom. But the results are more general than that. I can show that uh, the any, any arbitrary portion of the cycloid is going to be a faster racetrack than the corresponding straight line between those two points. And I'll just illustrate it for one arbitrary set of points here. The cycloid should win. And it does. Now I can go to the ridiculous extreme, which is to make this straight line perfectly flat. In that, in that case, it takes an infinite time for this ball to travel from one end to the other, but the time that it takes for the ball to travel on the cycloid is never going to be any longer than twice the time it takes to get to the bottom. Now, let me illustrate one last property of the cycloid, and that is that the time it takes for this ball to get to the bottom of the curve is independent of how far it falls, whether it falls from here or there or there. To illustrate that, I'm going to drop this ball from the opposite side at a different height than, the, than where I dropped this. They ought to meet directly at the bottom of the curve. Let's see. And within the uncertainty of the measurement, they do.